Before we begin solving this question, I first want to briefly discuss about the length contraction formula, or more specifically, I want to discuss this radical expression right here, the square root of 1 minus v over c squared. When studying modern physics, you'll come across many modern physics questions that require us to use formulas that have this radical expression in, in the formula. It's so prevalent that physicists have simplify writing all of this out by just giving it the symbol gamma. So the symbol gamma represents 1 over the square root of 1 minus v over c squared. So what this allows us to do, we'll rewrite the length contraction formula to be L is equal to the proper length divided by gamma. I wanted to discuss this very quickly so that we're not so confused by the rest of my calculations when you see this symbol. So to begin, the question stated the proper length of one spaceship is three times that of another. So we can go ahead and symbolize this with our variables here. So for one spaceship, we can get that L is equal to three times the proper length divided by gamma. And we have a little sub subscript right here. I'll explain what this means momentarily. Now, the second formula we can write is L is equal to the proper length divided by gamma. Now let me discuss what these subscripts are. So the subscript F is simply the fast spaceship and the subscript S is the slower spaceship. Now how did I go about determining this? What was my logical reasoning behind this. So this question is stating how one is going to be three times longer than the other. So what that means is that one of the spaceships is very huge. And when you have a really big spaceship, when it's really big in length, it'll move very slow because a very big object doesn't move as fast. By contrast, a very small spaceship can move very fast. So for the spaceship, for the small spaceship to be equal in length to the big spaceship, we'd have to multiply it by a factor of three. So hopefully that makes sense. The next thing we'll do is we'll set these expressions equal to each other because they both share this L variable. So we can just make our substitution right here. We'll go ahead and cancel the proper length variables on both sides. And we'll be left with three over gamma sub f is equal to one over gamma sub s. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to expand these gammas right here so that we get three times the square root of one minus v sub f over c squared is equal to the square root of one minus v sub s over c squared. The next thing we'll do is we'll need to isolate the v sub f variable because it's asking us to determine the speed of the faster spaceship. In order to do that, we'll go ahead and square both sides so that we get 9 times 1 minus v sub f squared divided by c squared, which is equal to 1 minus v sub s squared divided by c squared. What we can go ahead and do next is divide 9 on both sides so that we get this expression right here. So we'll go ahead and rearrange the equation that we have going on here so that we get v sub f squared divided by c squared is equal to 1 minus 1 minus v sub s squared divided by c squared divided by 9. The last thing we need to do is we need to take the square root of both sides and we need to cross multiply so that we get v sub f is equal to c times the square root of 1 minus 1 minus v sub s squared divided by c squared divided by 9. The next thing we need to do is take this given information here that the speed of the slower spaceship is 0 0.350 times the speed of light and go ahead and plug that in so that we get this form right here. After solving that, we'll get that the velocity or the speed of the faster spaceship is 0.95 times the speed of light. 